Hello, I'm Laika, and I'm going to show you how to uh, install the Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines unofficial patch on Steam Deck. Um, now, my game is installed on the SD card, so I will add the SD card path. The SD card path uh, is root run, this is going to be under media, and then this is going to be a right click copy location and um, I'm by the way I'm gonna run this through wine so uh, and also use flat seal to manage uh, my wine folders so I'm in flat seal right now which is an application you should just get it's on the discover store uh, but it lets you manage uh, flat pack permissions which if you have the wine flat pack it's what you do to add folders so you'll come down here to other files under wine and you will put your folder in there you can see i already added mine and then you can close flat seal and download the unofficial patch so i've already downloaded the unofficial patch it's here in my downloads you know so okay <laughs> just run it and when it comes up and asks you for a path for your game, you'll see it has the Windows folder structure. Well, your Linux structure is gonna be under Z here, the Z drive. So you'll just go to there, go to run. And if you did not add your SD card, you don't need to add your SD card uh, unless your game is on your SD card, which mine is. Uh, your SD card will show up here under run media and then the series of letters and numbers <laughs> and then you will go ahead and go in and select your game like you normally would there we go and yeah I'm just gonna install the uh, I'm just gonna install the basic stuff and bam there you go There's one more thing we need to do before uh, this is finished because I don't think Wine will be able to do this. I don't think Wine will be able to touch Steam. At least it hasn't been able to for me. Also, I apologize, my screen's dirty. This thing's a fucking fingerprint magnet. But as you can see, it's just, it's running. It's installing like it would on Windows. And you can do this with other mod managers or other mods. Um, just throw the folder. If it's not showing up under the Z directory in uh, your mod manager, just throw the folder to the game, uh, add it using flat seal. Uh, your SD card won't show up by default, typically, but you can just add it there. Uh, don't add, like, don't select like enable full file system and stuff like that huge security no no then you can have windows apps fucking with your root fs and you don't want to do that you don't want that <laughs> i don't mind if uh windows applications fuck with my sd card there's nothing important on there except for games so though there's nothing really important on this except for games <laughs> just that's just a rule in general to kind of follow well not a rule but a guideline don't give applications permissions to files they don't really need to access you can see it's putting the loader dll there it's replacing the executable now we just wait <laughs> around with I thought I had wobbly windows still on but I don't <laughs> I 
we just wait it's taking a while there we go okay so here it actually tells you add game okay I can't copy from there I'll just type it out okay so now we will go into vampire on steam properties and we will put in it's up there, dash game Oh, it's okay. Not all caps. I'm still getting used to um, typing with these trackpads because, yeah, they're. They're not the best. <laughs> I mean, they're not as good as um, these. These are bigger. <laughs> and with any luck, the game will start with the unofficial patch. You can see it's running, but uh, I need to configure out the controls for this because they're not not by default. Oh, DualShock 4 config. Wait, what? Okay, we're going to do... Malkavian. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to play this <laughs> right now. But uh, that's how you do it. Um, we should be running the unofficial patch. And I hope that helps if you try and get this game running on your deck.